This is the last time that I will be opening Gacha Gacha Crate because, um, <laughs> so yeah, in my previous video I actually said that was my last video. I was incorrect. Um, apparently I'd only done five. I thought I'd done six, but whatever. Anyway, as you can see in front of us today, we do have the February 2019 edition of Gacha Gacha Crate. As usual, it has all the good stuff on the side, along with the uh, cute tuxedo Shiba Inu. That is the website, which I shall endeavour to leave in the video description below, if you want to get one for yourselves. And, yeah, so, trying to crack into the ultimate one. The ultimate, as in, final one, not the best one. You know what I mean. Um, and, yeah, as with, you know, the other ones, obviously, gachapons are those kind of things. Or, well, these kind of things. Uh, they have various things inside. Now, I'm not going to open this. Because, obviously, it tells you what um, gachas are in here. But this is indeed February 2019. So, yeah, there's uh, the six balls. They each have something from a different gacha, like, machine thing. Um, and, yeah, might as well just delve in. Let's see what the first one is. So, yeah, I've, I've got to admit, um, I wasn't actually expecting this when I got the... Um, got an email about two weeks ago to say it shipped and I was a little bit confused because I was like oh dear have they given me one for free but no I, I checked anyway um, I'm gonna go and unpeel all this and I'll be right back all right then I am back so we have a small pink ball what will be inside as always let's grab this mysterious piece of uh, paper and find a uh, telephone cats with telephones are they Cats? They are cats. What is the theme? Um, so there's a cat with a TV, cat with a telephone, cat with a boombox, um, an antenna TV, one of the really old ones, um, a more modern phone, and another boombox. Uh, okay, they are ah, right, they're like different coloured boomboxes. That's cool, and the cat obviously coming with it is kind of doing something related. I think they're like either... Yeah, okay. Anyway, well... <laughs> let's see, what did we get? I would like a boombox myself, because um, they are more universally usable. But I think I see some red, which I think is a telephone. Um, indeed, it is. It is looking like a telephone. So, let's see. Let's look at the cat first, shall we? Oh, that, um, <laughs> that looks like a palico for a monster hunter. Um, obviously I know palicos are based on cats, so it's probably just a breed of a cat, but I don't think I've ever seen a golden -y one with, like, a brown nose or whatever. That's a very cute cat, and also really detailed. Obviously you can see the scale, it's, you know, as big as, like, the tip of my thumb, but, ah, oh, that's a really cute cat, actually, and, yeah, they've, they've got the uh, tail and everything. And let's take a look at the phone. Not quite as detailed, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, not expecting this to lift up or anything. You'd think they'd, like, add something a little bit or, like, line that because it just looks like a moulded telephone. Still very cute. Um, still very old-fashioned phone as well with the uh, ring dial. I don't think, I don't even think I was, like, alive around the time when that was, not that I'm particularly old, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I ever really used a ring dial telephone. Anyway, very cute, very weird, very gachapon. So, let's grab the middle. So, I've kind of realised the middle two are the smaller ones, and then there's, like, bigger ones on the side or whatever, so, I'm going to see if I can find anything here. Uh, right, actually, wait, Biobi. All right, that was a major paint open. It's one of these things, and uh, kind of got to press in, and then, like, getting nails and, and stuff. I, I don't like these kind of ones. But what I may like is the contents. Let's see. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that technical difficulty. Um, I So I unfi uh, unfurled this. Now, I've not looked at what I got in the gacha. However, I did take a moment to read that. That seems to say, um, like, Nam Namco Museum thing. And indeed, if we look down there, there's Pac-Man. Um, and yeah, these seem to be kind of like game cartridges or something like that. Um, 
so yeah, they're all like Namco themed, obviously. I think I saw Bomberman earlier as well. So yeah, the little like I don't know, the little game cartridges, I suppose. So I'm gonna check out what we got. Uh ooh. Very well packed, hang on. Nope. Ah, now does it come in a box? In sort of like a fake box, I wonder. That's cool. Right, what is this? I I don't know. Um, also, I've realised I didn't look at the booklet to see what the um, cat with the phone thing is. Um, drunk, drunger? Uh, drunger, maybe? It's Well, it's number seven, anyway. So he looks like a knight. Um, I can't say I've ever heard of this game. But, hey, you know, uh, what does that say? Dorua Kano something. Um, right, yeah, now... Let's see, so I think I can actually open these and get the game from inside. Uh, yes, okay, good, we can. I um, just put my fingers in and didn't feel anything for a second and got a little bit confused. Ah, right, okay. I see, so... Oh, is that Duraga? So is this the Tower of Duraga? Now, I know there's an anime based on this game, I believe. That's kind of cool. And the number seven. So yeah, these are like enamel pin kind of things. Um, that, you know, obviously look like the cartridges or whatever. Uh, and they're housed in replications or, uh, you know, re yeah, replications of the box you'd have bought if you bought it for whatever console this is for. That's really cool. Yeah, so this is the, like, Tower of Draugr, I think. Um... If I'm wrong, I'll I'll put an annotation or something, but yeah, that's really cool. Right, I'm going to look at the um, booklet thing now, just to see the explanation of both of these things. So, the first thing are patient cats. Apparently they're cats that are patiently waiting for someone to turn down the noise. Of either, I suppose, the phone, the television, or the boombox. Okay, interesting one. Uh, it does look distraught, so I suppose my cat uh, also looked a little bit distraught. And the other thing is the Namco Museum Cassette Pins Collection. Throw it back with these cassette pins from a collection of retro titles from the Namco Museum. Um, and yeah, that was the Pac-Man. Obviously, I think Pac-Man would have been, like, well, maybe not necessarily the best one to get. Uh, I really like Pac-Man. But, you know, it definitely would have been the most popular one. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. I think that's the Tower of Draugr. Anyway, never played it myself, but I do remember seeing Crunchyroll uh, recommending it at some point. And yeah, right, um, I think this may have just enough tape that I can rip it off on camera. Um, or maybe not, actually no, I'll be right back. All right then, I've kind of cracked it open already. I've not pulled anything out. Oh, and we have... Uh, all right, what the, the hell are these? Wow, okay, it gets more mysterious. Oh, wait, is this Mount Fuji? Is this the Mount Fuji collection? <laughs> is this the Mount Fuji collection? Um, obviously, Mount Fuji is very popular in Japan. It's like one of their, you know, national treasures and stuff. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's Mount Fuji sort of in various things, like snowy, normal, in hell, frozen over. It's becoming a wheel or so, I, I don't know. Um, right, okay, cool. So, I... I believe I have. I have a Mount Fuji. Wow. All I need now is a very, very, very small Godzilla. Um, and I'll have... I'll have made it. I think that's Mount Fuji anyway. That's... So it's got an interesting base. Um, not sure why it's got all the things. And yeah, that looks like Mount Fuji. Um, and yeah, there's like... Ooh, there's, there's a dip there. Wait a sec. Ah, hang on, wait. Maybe there's something. Yeah, boy, let's see. Can we read this? No, we can't. That's kanji. Well, I can't anyway. If, uh, if anyone in the comments happens to be able to read whatever that said, kudos to you. Let me know what it says. 
Right, well, that's kind of the, um, that's kind of the thing then. Wow, that, that does look really nice, to be fair. We've got a little bit of, well, I mean, little lakes, I suppose, like rivers or something. Um, and yeah, and there's the snowy peak of Mount Fuji, where many a battle has taken place in fiction. Um, not sure in real life, I don't imagine. Right, okay, let's check out what this thing is. <laughs> This is the Mount Fuji fig figure collection, and um, yeah, does what it says in the tin, I suppose. It's one of the uh, highest, highest peak, tallest peaks in the entire world, apparently. And um, yeah, so that's like that. I think that's the most traditional depiction of it. I think we've got like a slightly more muted version, maybe, or like in the summertime. I can't tell. The bright red one would have been kind of cool. Um, but either way, I mean, Mount Fuji's cool and all. It's definitely probably something that means a lot more in Japan. Um, which I suppose could be true for literally every gachapon I've opened on this channel. Because uh, these are ultimately Japanese collectibles. Right, this is a real pain. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and I think I've undone all the tape. Yes, I have. Alright then. Let's see, what is this? Well, no, I was right the first time. Masukoto. Masukoto. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, nice. Are these boxes of food? Yeah, 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 because there's lobster. Uh, those look like vegetables. That looks like something in a bowl. Toys spirits. Very nice. Oh, okay, yeah. Right, so there's five to collect. They are food items. On, uh, awesome, right. What food item did we... What is this then? Oh, is this like health and safety or something? Well, this ain't... Ha! Lucky I can't read Japanese. Um... Yeah, oh, okay, right, let's open it this way so we don't see what it is. Until the reveal. Ooh, yo, I got the lobster. That's cool, because I identify that as food more than the other ones. Yo, this is very detailed. I don't know what those are meant to be. Or oh, those. Eggs, greens, pickled onions, maybe? And lobster. Wow, okay, so the box itself is quite nice as well. Ooh, it's got this thing on it. Is this in partnership with something? I, I reckon it's some kind of, like, restaurant or something. Maybe it's a tie-in. Man, yeah, look at that lobster. Uh, it's still got its legs and everything. I heard lobster's quite nice. Never tried it myself. Anyway, right, let's find out what the hell this is then. So this is Osechi. Uh, mascot. So Sechi is like New Year's food they eat in Japan. Um, this set has obviously various different foods that a traditional tweet around the New Year celebration. And the oh wait what? Okay, so we got that. Do we get that? Oh no no, I don't think that's the same one actually. Okay, I was going to say because um, otherwise we really really missed out there because. Uh, we didn't get any of... Oh, wait, I wonder. Do you, like, put different boxes around it? So maybe is this, like, one of the centerpiece things? Or maybe it's not. I don't know. No, maybe it's not. If that is a different um, variety of them. But, yeah, that's that's very nice. And, uh, you know, an incredibly weird thing. This is actually probably right in scale with an Android. Um... So, you know, if you ever want, like, an android or something to look like they're eating Japanese lobster cuisine thing, then that is your gacha series. Now, let's see. What is the next one? It's a bit transparent. Uh, and yet again, I will need to do this off camera. BRB! All right. Let's crack this one open. Uh -huh. Where is the leaflet thing? Oh, I see a Pikachu. Is that a... Ooh, is that... Okay, that's a cable hugger kind of thing, I think. Yep, yeah, there's an Eevee and a Pikachu. Oh, nice! 
Okay, I'm hoping for one of those. Um, because, as I've said last time, I have pulled a ridiculous amount of Eevee-related things now. Not that I dislike Eevee, but it's not a massively interesting Pokemon. No, uh, no offence there. I'd love a Squirtle one. Gengar would be great as well, actually. Um... Oh, right, okay, I think I see. So, they come with these case things, and you put them over a cable, and it kind of clips on, so the Pokemon isn't holding on to the cable itself. Like, the cable is just housed more. That's actually kind of cool, fair play. Hmm, right, okay, well, I'd love a Squirtle and a Gengar. The other two Kanto starters would be amazing. Pikachu and Eevee... You know, I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> of course. Of course. It would not be a gacha gacha opening on this channel without it being Eevee. Okay then. Well, it's cute, I suppose. Look at it. It's happy to be on my cable. Well, not yet, but it will be. Maybe. Um, right, yeah. So, let's see. So the cable runs through... Ooh, ah, oh, right, okay. So it's like rubbery, this is. Um, that's cool. And then, obviously, that... Like, I'm not going to actually close it up. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. That's the wrong way. But, yeah, it would, like, close like that. And the cable would go through there. And then you put the Pokemon uh, on top of that little jutting out thing, I presume. Maybe get out here. Thank you. Very well modelled Eevee, actually. Oh, look, it's hugging things. It's got its tail. Right, okay, so... You just put it... on there. No, no. Okay, or maybe... Hang on, be right back. <laughs> All right, then, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's very cute. It's attached to the thing, so, like... It's attached to the cable. Um, and, yeah, kind of... Kind of useful. I've actually been using, so um, a couple months back, there was the Hello Kitty one with the blue head guy. Um, I've actually been using that on my phone charger just because um, he's not like on top of it, so it shows me which way to put the cable in. Um, you know, which sort of saves me on having to flip it round and go, oh no, it's that way or that way. Anyway, let's have a look at what these Pokemon things exactly are, despite the fact we kind of know what they are. So this is the Pokemon clinging cable cover, and um, yeah, just does as we discussed, basically. That's the Pikachu one. I don't quite like the Pikachu one, actually. Although, thinking of it, Pikachu's tail is actually quite flimsy, whereas Eevee's tail is like a solid thing, so it won't get caught as easy on their little, little other cables or wherever. And that brings us to our final one. What will be inside it? Only a jump cut will tell us. All right then, let's crack this open. Uh, grab the piece of paper and take a look. Uh, something too. There's some flowers. Uh, ooh, okay. Lots of flowers. Trees. All right, well, yes. Oh wait, there's, there's even more. Um... Yeah, well, this is volume two of the Flower Collection. Um, right, okay. Cool. Oh. Yo, what? Okay. Yo, what? Hang on. This seems to be quite big, actually. Ooh, and rubbery. Oh! It's a little case for stuff. You, you know, right, is it, so is it this way up you hold it? It's like, um, ah, well, I, lotus maybe, or a orchid? No, it's a lotus, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's like, by some water and there's some, I don't know, there's some docks for small insects to walk on, for the small insect boats or whatever. Um, right, okay, let's find out what these are then. This is a floral card um, pouch miniature, and yeah, these are Hanafuda cards. So Hanafuda are like playing cards that have um, flowers on them and stuff. And yeah, it's like 
It's made for storing small things in them. Uh, that one's got a bird, and I've quite liked the bird one, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I can't say I've ever owned any Hanafuda cards or really seen many of them, so didn't recognise those. But, you know, it is the... Um, where has that got? Ah, there it is. Yeah, it, it is a kind of cool little idea. And, you know, you can store change or something, I suppose, if you're, like, visiting abroad or whatever. But yeah, well, that's actually kind of cool. Right, as always, I'm going to take a quick look at this to see um, what else they've written on it and stuff. See if there's anything interesting, and then I'll give a final roundup to the final box. Finally, an actual finally, the box. Uh, after this smooth transition. Alright, so um, looking at the back, they've actually listed all of the um, retro um, pins and stuff from the Namco Museum thing. So indeed I was correct, it is the Tower of Druaga, which is a 1984 game about uh, your hero Gilgamesh trying to um, save Key for the Dreamin' Druaga. And there's 60 floors, and the other games are pretty cool as well. There's um, Galaxian, which is really fun. Pac-Man, everyone knows Pac-Man. Xevious, another really fun game. Happy, no, Mappy, sorry, never played. Um, Dig Dug, really good game actually, I'd have really liked the Dig Dug one. Um, we have Valkyrie No Boken, not a fucking clue. Uh, Family Stadium, Dragon Buster, and Super Xevious, Gamp No Nazo. Well, I'm kind of glad I got the Terror Drag actually, because... Uh, Looks like a pretty cool game. Anyway, I'm going to uh, change camera angles and show you the final thing. Alright, I am back with the uh, final sort of final scene of the final part of the final journey of the Gacha Gacha Crate. I think I've already done that, actually. I'll skip the uh, dramatics. So, yeah. Um, very, very interesting month. Um, probably not one of the strongest ones, but they're not really items I dislike either. So it's sort of it's a nice, nice, you know, happy medium of, like, things I'm kind of like, yo, those are kind of cool. So, yeah, the, the cat and the telephone, you know, the telephone might come in handy for little prop stuff with um, other photography of figures. That is actually really cool. I, I do like that. It's um, it's very weird Gachapon-esque, so very fitting. Eevee's quite nice, I suppose. I'll probably, I probably will put that on some kind of cable. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put it on my phone cable and put the Sanrio one on something else. Who knows? Mount Fuji is an interesting one. Um, I love the detail, but I just don't really care. Um, I'm, you know, I, I'm sure to Japanese people, Mount Fuji's really awesome and stuff, and like a national symbol and stuff, but. It's kind of just a big, big wide mountain thing. Uh, it's quite nice though, you know, it's definitely, I uh, wouldn't give it away or anything, I'd still keep it. Um, that is an interesting one. Um, if I ever travel to Japan, I'll keep my spare yen in here and then everyone can look at me and, you know, say like, wow, what a fucking weeb. Um, uh, well, actually, no, it's not really a weeby kind of thing. It's just a traditionally Japanese stuff. And this, I think, is probably the highlight. Um, I would have liked maybe a replica of the cart as opposed to a pin because I never really put pins on stuff and this box is so cool that I don't think I'd pull the pin out. I'd just keep it in here, really. Um, having said which, I think I'd just have been happy if they just made the game boxes, really. Um, so yeah, overall, e a very pleasant end to it. Um, nothing mind-blowing, but nothing bad either, like those cat hats. So, if you have enjoyed watching my Gacha Gacha Crate series, um, well, this is the end, so you'll have to find someone else. But, you know, I do do other boxes. I do Japan Crate, which is the mother company of Gacha Gacha Crate, so maybe give that a give that a watch or something. Um, and yeah, that about wraps it up, really. Thank you very much for uh, coming with me through this journey of Gacha Gacha-ing. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.